Hey guys, I'm back. It's been what, like almost two months since my last, uh, you know, video. So I've been crazy busy. Um, the last time I was going to vlog about our trip to Paris, but there's so much footage. I kind of have to just compile everything and make one video. I might, I might do that later. Um, yeah, so we came back from Paris and I hit the ground running. I had so much so much going on with volunteering and um, also at the office and my freelance gig and then getting back into my workout routine. So as you can see, I'm still kind of wearing my workout clothes. I got a quick workout in the garage. So right now I'm gonna hop in the shower and then I'm gonna head out to the office and do some stuff there, come back. I'll probably go to Dillard's to try on some bathing suits because my best, my best friend and I are taking a trip to the Grand Cayman Islands. I'm so excited. We are going on May 7th, so we'll be out there for a whole week. It's just her and I, we've been friends for like almost 30 years, so um, I'm really excited about that. But I wanted to try on maybe one or two bathing suits so that I can add to my collection of what I'm taking to the Cayman Islands. Um, right now, I'm these monkeys are all over. It looks like it's going to rain outside. Hopefully, it doesn't rain that much. You can see I cut my hair, guys. I cut about six inches off, and I'm really, really loving this new do. Um, I washed it yesterday, so this is kind of the way it looks. Um, I usually get the Brazilian blowout, but I haven't done that because I will be doing a lot of swimming when we go on our trip. I'm a big fish. I'm a true Pisces. Um, but, yeah, I'm really enjoying my hair. I'm thinking of going a little bit shorter maybe in summer. I'm not really sure yet, but chances are I will. Um, let's see what else I will um, be sharing some stuff that I bought from Paris and some stuff that I've purchased from Zara I'm really excited I've, I've, I've actually purchased quite a bit since we've been back I really need to get my mojo going because I am like totally slacking right now I might take the girls for a really quick walk around the block to burn some energy because Lola has been chewing up our baseboards I don't know what the deal is with this monkey but she is totally tearing our house up i'm gonna show you my outfit before i head out looks dark there but let me show you what i'm wearing okay so i'm running errands and i am gonna put like a little jacket when i go to the office because i don't think this is very office appropriate but i just purchased these um flared pants from Zara yesterday and I really love them. Um, I ended up buying a size 36 which is a size 4 but the fit is amazing. These are not 100% cotton so they have a little bit of the stretch that's why I'm really liking them and they are a little bit low waisted but how cute are these? So if you get online and you go to the Zara website, you'll see on the model, she's probably like six feet tall. They look like, they don't even look like this. I mean, I'm only 5'4", and I'm wearing them. Let me show you what I'm wearing them with. I'm wearing them with these little Ralph Lauren wedges. There's Lola Bear. So I'm wearing them with these uh, wedges, so they give me a little bit of height. And I like my flared jeans to cover my feet like that. So anyway, yeah. So on the model, I'll insert a picture of how she's wearing them. She's like six feet tall, and they look like they're kind of high waters on her. But I like this fit much better. But yeah, so I'm gonna throw on a little jacket over this, or like a little, um, a little, like a little wrap, so that I don't look so exposed when I go to the office. Because I'll probably just be there for like 30 minutes, and then I have to leave. Um, but yeah, so I just thought I'd show you my little outfit. It's very 70s inspired, except for the belt. As you can see, the belt fits me a little big. I hate that it does this. I've been trying to kind of tuck it in here like this, but it still looks kind of weird. I should have just bought like a size 80. I don't know why I ended up buying a size 85. But anyway, I do have a brown one and the brown one is a size 80 and it fits me perfect. But anyway, yep, this is my outfit really cute and um, I will see you guys later.
Hey guys, I'm back and I ran around all day long and I'm now sitting in my office ready to show you some stuff that I have purchased throughout the month. It's not very much, but you know, since we are going into summer, I have started adding things to my wardrobe and I thought I'd share this stuff with you. So the first things that I'm gonna start with are these two little tops that I purchased from Zara and they're white. There are actually three items that I purchased from Zara. And the first one, I actually ordered one, I actually ordered two, but one came in and the zipper was stuck and I ended up taking it back. So I didn't, I didn't reorder it. I'm just going to, you know, not, I'm not going to reorder that one particular little top. It was really, really cute. I'll insert a picture of what it looked like somewhere in here, but I decided I wasn't going to reorder it and I ended up staying with these right here. So this one is a cropped little top here um, with adjustable um, shoulder straps, which I really do love when they um, have adjustable shoulder straps. Um, since it is a uh, pretty cropped, I ended up buying a size medium. Um, I always buy size medium in these only because I feel that it gives me a little bit more length on the belly part. So that's why I always order a, um, a size medium. So, I mean, I'm looking at it and it's not really a white color. It looks more like, kind of like an ecru color, kind of off white. So, um, yeah, so when I received it, I was comparing it to some other white tops and it, it's not, it's not white. So it's kind of more of a creamy one, but I did try it on and it fits really, really cute. And let me take it off the hanger. So the back part has the um, kind of like a stretchy material. So it kind of gives you a lot of room and it is rouge from the front part. So I think these would look really, really cute with some high-waisted jeans. Um, and this one only retailed for $29.90. And I really love it. So I plan on taking this with me to the Cayman Islands. So I love that. And I also ordered this one. And this one is definitely white. So this one I also ordered in a size medium. I tried it on and I'll insert a picture of what it looked like somewhere in this clip. So as you can see, it is a little, um, it is a crop top and these right here, you can actually remove or if you want to wear them, they also have um, some little adjustable straps. But I think what I'm going to do with this one, I'll probably just wear it as a little tube without the straps because with my luggage, they'll probably fall to the side. I really do love it. It's really, really cute. And the back also has that stretchy material all the way through. So it gives you a little bit of leeway right here, a little bit of stretch. I also bought this one in a size medium. Like I said, I always order my uh, Zara crop tops in a size medium. I hardly ever buy a size small unless, um, I try it on at the store and it fits a little big. Oh, and this also has a little um, zipper so you can zip it. So that was my other one. And so now I'm gonna jump into my swimsuits that I found at Dillard's. I had already seen one of them online. So I was kind of hoping when I went to Dillard's here at La Cantera Mall that they would have them in stock. Let me put these over here um if you hear like noises in the back it's because coco bean is here gnawing on her little treat they get a treat after dinner and lola bear is in the on the other side she's in the front bedroom but anyway so yeah so i saw these bathing suits online and i'm a big fan of gianni beanie at dillard's um so i have quite a bit i actually bought like maybe two or three swimsuits last season and i've worn them and i think that some of well for some of you that follow my instagram you will see some pictures of some of the ones that i wore i think it was two it was a really pretty blue one i'll insert a picture of it here somewhere and it was really it's a pretty bathing suit it was high-waisted and then the top was also cropped with like little um, sleeves coming down and then my favorite one which was the lemon 
uh, the lemon little swimsuit. I love that that swimsuit. I actually ordered um, a one piece, but when I received it, I got it on a major sale, but it, I ordered a size medium, and when I received it, it was like, there was no way in hell it was gonna fit. Like, it did not fit. Like, my boob was coming out to the side. It was like one of those half ones. And I got it on major sale, so I couldn't, I wasn't gonna, I think I paid like maybe $19 for it, so I wasn't gonna send it back. Um, I have no use for it, so maybe I'll find someone that is shorter, like they have a smaller torso where it doesn't kind of like, your boobie won't come out on it. But anyway, that's a different story. So anyway, getting back to the swimsuits. I saw these online, so I rushed over to Dillard's today. I had seen them a while back, and I tried them on, and oh my God, they're so cute, you guys. Um, gone are the days. Um, when I was much younger, I used to wear like um, teeny weeny, weeny, weeny little bikinis, and I am 50 years old now, so gone are the days where the whole girls gone wild look you know, that does not exist in my uh, bikini wardrobe anymore. So I'm a little bit more conservative when it comes to bathing suits. But um, I ordered, I'm going to insert pictures of these two bathing suits while I'm talking about them. So this is the bikini top in the Gianni beanie. It's so pretty. It has like these little tassels, like tassel, but like little balls hanging down at the bottom. And it has like the mesh part right here, which is really pretty. And it has like a little um, a padding inside, which you can actually take out if you choose to. The back part has two little straps. And then, of course, the tie. So this is just tie. It doesn't have like a little clasp or anything. Um, I tried on a size small and the medium. And the size small fit really good. But I kind of felt like my it was too much side boob. So I ended up doing the medium. You know, with Gianni Beanie, I think that most most all of my bathing suits, I always buy the bottom especially. The bottom is always a size medium. The top will vary. Sometimes I do a size small, sometimes I do a size medium, de depending on how I feel in it. Um, like the size small in this particular bathing suit, like the square part right here, I felt like it was too small. And I think that if I'm like going crazy, in the water or like jet skiing in this, I think that um, you'll probably, I'm bound to have a little accident. So I didn't want to do that, so I did it perfect. Um, as you can see in the picture, it looks really good. It's comfortable, it's not loose. All I have to do, if I feel it's a little too loose, is just tie this a little tighter and it'll take care of that. So this is the top and this is the bottom, which is completely high-waisted like you can't even see my belly ring with this like it is very high-waisted as you can see by the picture and I have to be careful with the meshing because the first one that I tried on um, it was torn from here so um, yeah I'm sure I have to be really really careful with this but I do love it um, no Lola no ma'am go over there go get your treat um, it also have I feel like my hair is in my face my mouth it has these little balls too, all over. It's not all around, it's just in the front part, but it is so cute, I love it. I love it so much. And of course I ordered, or I bought a size medium. Now I did notice with the size medium, because I tried the, I tried them both, I tried the small and the medium. The medium fits me a little tiny bit loose right in here, but I don't like anything to like squeeze me in and give me like muffin top, which I mean, I don't have that problem, but I just like to feel comfortable. So I would rather go a little bigger as opposed to going smaller because I just don't like to feel constricted in the uh, bathing suit. So I did order, I did buy, I keep saying ordering, I bought, um, I bought a size medium in this and I absolutely love it. I'm so excited to wear this on my trip with my best friend in two weeks. So I will definitely be posting pictures on that. So as I was, as I paid for this, I was leaving Dillard's and then I saw this one hanging and the color was what attracted me to it. So I grabbed it and then I went to the dressing room to try it on. And it's this really pretty one. And mind you, my bathing suits are way more conservative now. They're not, they're kind of like, I mean, and they're in style. Like, I mean, I see this a lot on Instagram, but how cute is this bathing suit? This one's not a Gianni beanie. This one right here is, 
what is the name brand of this one? I think they put like something over it so I can't see. Hold on, let me see. They have to put like a, a sticker over it, but if I can get, oh yeah, here it is. It is Chelsea and Violent. That's the name of it. So let me hold it up for it's you really guys. cute little ruffles on the sides and nothing on the back and a size medium in this one as well. I did try on a size small and it did fit really good. But like I said, I go for comfort, not because I have to wear a size small. If I'm a size four or a two, you know, typically in like jeans and, and other stuff like I, I don't feel like I have to squeeze into that, you know, that small or that size four. I always go for comfort. And the top, I did try on the small and the medium, and I ended up buying the medium as well. As you can see, it looks kind of small. Like, it is, I mean, even the medium looks really small. And it is padded from the inside, so you can take that out as well. And it has your little adjustable strap. And this one does have the little tight thingy, so it's not just like the string. So I do love it. As you can see by the picture, it fits really, really cute. So I'm really excited to take this one as well. I'm going to still take some of the other bathing suits that I bought last year. So, I mean, I will definitely get good use out of those. And, and typically, like, when I, I like, fine, no Lola, Lola, no ma'am. Lola, no ma'am. Lola, you listen to mama. No ma'am. Go to your casita. Go get in your casita. Hi, this dog. Um, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so I like to buy my bathing suits at Target. And with those, you can mix and match. So I have a lot of bottoms that I like to mix and match with like tops that I buy. So I'll definitely be taking quite a few bathing suits when we leave on our trip um, in two weeks. So... So that does it for Dillard's, my little bikini, my little uh, swimsuits. And um, one final thing that I bought from Zara. It's actually my second pair because I love them so much. I had to get another pair because they are super, super comfortable, you guys. Um, it's these really cute leopard shoes. You know me and leopard. I'm like such a big fan. So these right here, you guys, are seriously the most comfortable little meal sandal that you'll ever wear like I don't know if a lot of you know what I do full-time like I am an executive assistant for my husband's uh, business and I also do freelance work for Estee Lauder and Armani and I wore these when did I go I was in Kerrville at Belk with an event that Estee Lauder was having and I wore these sandals you guys I was there from like 10 to 6 wearing these and they were super comfortable. Now, I have to admit that I wasn't walking around like all over the store or anything. I was in one place doing makeup pretty much the entire day. Now, if I had to walk around in these for 7 hours or something, I'm sure my feet would hurt you know um but i didn't and i have worn them to the office and i've run errands in them and i mean they're super comfortable so i have no problems with them i'm exposing myself here so i have no problems with them at all my first pair that i have that i'm still wearing i'm just gonna wear those out i like the little um the little what do you call this the little shoe um I'm having a brain fart. I don't even know what this is called. But this little thing right here came off. And it was kind of like loose. So I, I'm such a dork. Um, I tried doing like that duo glue on the shoe. Because I didn't have glue. But it didn't stick. So I don't know. I think I just kind of pounded it. Pounded the little um, shoe tap to the shoe. And it, I didn't have any more issues with it. But I'm sure it'll come off if I kind of mess with it. So anyway, hopefully that doesn't happen with these but i will definitely save the um did i save it i think i have them over there like the little shoe top the little caps for the shoes i'm just going to save them in case they do um come loose so i have them um but yeah so oh one more thing i bought okay so i'm sure a lot of you know through my instagram that i went to paris for my 50th birthday 
and I did say earlier that I was going to go ahead and do like some um, like unboxings or just kind of show you guys what I purchased at Hermes there in Paris. But I'm going to just do that in a whole separate video only because I kind of want to talk about my Birkin. Ah! So I was able to get a Birkin in Paris while we were there. But that will be a whole different video, like a whole different um, show and tell video. But when I was there and we were paying, or when my husband was paying, um, they had like the fragrances lined up there by the cash box and I just so happened to grab one of them and when I sprayed it, I was like, oh my God, what is this fragrance? And I'm so, I didn't buy it, but they gave me little samples with my purchase. Like they put a bunch of little samples in my, in my bag and I wore it a few times and I instantly fell in love with the scent. Um, I need to look up the scent and I'll tell you exactly what notes they are, but it's this one right here. It's the latest one by Hermes and it is called Un Jardin Sur la Lagune. I don't even know if I'm massacring that or what, but you guys, if you guys go to Neiman Marcus or Nordstrom's or Saks, I don't even know if Saks has it, but I know Neiman Marcus has it and my girl Rhonda. I texted her and they had just received it and I went ahead and purchased it and it smells so good. So I'm going to look up some of the notes with this because I don't know the exact notes, but it is kind of a, a, a fresh um, scent. So give me a second so I can look up the notes. So here it is. It is, um, this is a 3.38 ounces, so it's pretty big. And it retails for 139. So it's a big size. So this one is called Un Jardin Sur la Lagune ou de Toilette. And this one, um, it has, let me see if I can find some of the, okay, so it's um, a floral, laugh. Did I say that right? It's a floral and woody, woody eau de toilette. So it is kind of floral, but it I can definitely say that this is more woodsy. You guys, if you guys get a chance, seriously, go to Neiman Marcus and, and smell this. Because, I mean, I think this fragrance will forever remind me of Paris. Because, I mean, I was able to score my Birkin on my, for my 50th birthday. And it was just such a special trip. And this will be a very very special um fragrance for me and i thank my sales associate that um put some of these in my bag because i absolutely love it i should have just bought it there um i probably would have saved a little bit of money because of the taxes and you know you get your taxes back but anyway it still reminds me of paris i'm glad i bought it and it's going to be a very very special fragrance for me going forward but yeah so, um, those are my purchases. I'm so thirsty. I'm always drinking lemon with water. These um, little tumblers are from Amazon, and the straws are glass, and they're from Amazon as well. If you'd like, I can go ahead and link them down below. Um, but yeah, so that is it, you guys. Those are my little purchases that I made. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to do. Um, I do want to do my... Um, you know, I want to show and tell my Birkin bag that I was able to score in Paris, but I'll do that later. And then I also bought um, some other little odds and ends as well. So that video will be strictly Hermes. So um, that is it for now, you guys. Um, if you have any questions or anything, leave your comments down below. Please consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you guys later. You up and